Hi, I'm Tezin Dikisono. I came to Toronto in 2010 when I was in grade 6. I felt alienated when I first came to Canada, not because I didn't know the language, but because I didn't have the same accent as most of the kids in my school. Another big challenge for me was the difference in school culture of Canada and India. The school environment that I lived in till grade 6 was very different from the one here. For example, here I didn't have to wear any uniforms, which was great but hard to adjust to at first. Another important difference was that in my old school in India, if you asked a question about the lessons that was taught, most of the time the teachers will scold us saying we didn't pay attention during the lesson and that would discourage us to ask questions. But here, teachers expect us to ask questions and if we don't ask questions, the teachers feel that we did not pay attention to the lessons or that we were not participating. So that was very shocking. However, when I started to catch up with um, my classmates and started to ask questions, I was often uh, laughed at by my classmates for my accent. This discouraged me and I stopped participating in class discussions or group activities. I became an invisible person in class. Because of that, I didn't get good grades. During the parent-teacher interview, my teacher would always tell my mom that I am too quiet in the class. I couldn't tell my teacher why I remained quiet. I couldn't make any friends for half a year. I would often go home and cry and tell my mom that I didn't want to go to school. I sometimes made up excuses to not to go to school. Staying at home those days were miserable. Finally, I decided that I should not care about what other people think of me. So I started participating in class activities and joined clubs such as choir. When people laughed at my accent, rather than keeping quiet, I asked my more friendly classmates to help with my English so I could learn the proper accent. By grade 8, I was getting good grades in all subjects. Now, I'm in grade 10. I still see newcomer students laughed at for their accents or English by other students. When I see that, I always try to tell them not to laugh at the new students. I make sure to go up to the immigrant students and cheer them up or tell him or her that they don't have to be shy. I tell them my story to encourage them so they don't have to go through the misery all over again. When I do that, I feel proud standing up for myself and other immigrant youths.